much in. Let's see what we got. All right, so it looks like when we found it, everything inside here, uh, clutch plates were brand new. Oh yeah, brand new, look brand at that. Clutch plates. So, typical three finger clutch. We're gonna go uh, take a look in here, Johnny. So, let's see. Friction disc. Yep. Let's see if we can get this to fit right. Hopefully, oh. Now this was in there. I didn't fit any of these to see if it if it goes on. <laughs> Maybe. Not fit. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Now here's the question though. Do the steels fit? Yeah, the steels. Steels are always gonna fit because they're just they sit like this. Okay. With the, the little anti-rattle clip, they're always gonna fit in here. But this plate. It's a little worrying. Yeah, it's a really worry. There you go. There it is. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. So, and if you see these on the note, you know something, they have an out marked out. So, obviously, we're going to mark these out. And with the anti rattle clips here, you're always going to offset the anti rattle clips. So, um, you're going to switch them back and forth because you don't want them to be that close to each other. Let's get these over here. That fits a lot better. Here's our out, and obviously this one was here, so we're going to switch it to here. All right, this, we're going to offset them. They're flying through these things, man. Yeah, way too easy, right? <laughs> that scares me. And then that one was there, so we're going to go here. All right. Mm -hmm. Last one. Go here. All right, well. And then here's our plate. Now, uh, what we do on these, typically for memory, this adjustment is a uh, inch, one inch, uh, inch and thirty-two. Yeah, and this so guy before made this little, made this great little block, great yeah. little block that is exactly the size that we need. Yeah, so, so we useful. adjusted this down right here. That's right at about one inch, one thirty-two right there. That's beautiful. So all our adjusting, and then what we do there is because we're just gonna see this should line up and if you notice they're offset in a really strange way you look at them there right there same. yeah there's two two and then there's actually yeah, three, three right there right so that should just so you can't put this on wrong <laughs> you could try oh. you could try it ain't gonna work okay there's not a lot of thread there huh? oh, there's <laughs> Slide the whole clutch. There we go. Okay. And if you notice on these nuts, I'm sure you could see a million YouTube videos about this, but this has a little notch. That receiver notch, you see that? That receiver notch goes right to here. That receiver notch is going to go right to that to lock that in. Right there. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these on, and hopefully they should just thread on nice and easy. I'm going to get this to turn. Do a little lock right onto there. A little more. One more turn. There we go. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here, <clears throat> get these to set right about where I think the adjustment is. I adjusted the one uh, inch and um, one thirty second with this. I added this little washer right here, um, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So we're going to get this right to here. So it goes right to about. We're, not tr we're trying not to move the spring in. So now, if you see here, we're going to Come right. Oh, I like the little leaf. This is an extra. <laughs> this leaf in the spring. That's a that's a leaf spring. Aha. Uh -huh. No, that's gonna. That's high performance. <laughs> okay. So we're at about 132, 132. We can go in a little more. No, that's it. All right. So now what we do here? Now watch how we do this here. We'll take this because now it's all locked into the to the three fingers on the hub. Okay. So now we're going to take this and we're going to back this off like this, right? Mm -hmm. All right, get that to back off. Okay. okay. Then we take this washer off because this was just to hold that in place. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to come back in. Okay. Because this is this is what. That's the adjustment. Yeah. We're going to come in till we just till we till we kiss it. Just it just hits the rod. Hold on. That's it. So I'm just feeling it engage. Mm -hmm. Right? Right there is where it's engaging, right? Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to turn that back off. About a quarter. 
and I'm gonna lock it down with this, but let's see. So the problem that we're running into right now is that the little threaded rod that goes in here and touches up against the actual clutch rod mm -hmm. is too short, so we're not actually getting enough threads on that little uh, lock nut that you saw. So we're trying to find one of those threaded rods that is actually longer, so it touches that clutch rod sooner so that we have more threads on that nut because we don't want to be stripping out right. that one. Yeah, because that's... What do they call that? that? That's the Jesus nut for this right now, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So if you guys don't know, there's a, a nut on the top of the helicopter blades that they call the Jesus nut because if it breaks, the only thing that you can do is just pray to Jesus because that's the only thing holding the blades together. Yeah. So this is sort of sort of our Jesus nut on this And again, we're, we're trying to figure out what this guy, good old Ed over there, we love this guy, what he was doing and what he was planning and what... You know, again, we're, we're playing Sherlock Holmes with this. So this one's got a ball bearing end on it, and I think this is better. Whoa. It's a little longer, um, Fancy. and I think it's going to be a little better. Maybe we'll go with this guy. See if that'll engage. That one's got a flat well, end. Let me let's compare them. Well, look at the. This may be a tiny bit longer, but I like the ball bearing end on it. Because um, it's spinning in there. Right? Yeah, I mean it just you know. All right, so. Back to where we were. There's probably some guy somewhere watching this video going, you know, if you don't do it right, you know, I'm sure we know quite a few people like that that would tell us what we're doing wrong <clears throat> yep. here. But uh, again, we're just trying to work with what we found here. That's the key on this bike. That's so much of this bike is like, you know. Keeping it original. Keeping it what he had, you know. He had this bike, must have had it running. In our mind, we're figuring he had it running. Well, um, I don't think, think so. No. <laughs> no, I. Well, because the pistons, you could still see the sharpie on top of them. So. Okay, well, maybe he didn't. It was set up to run. It was set up to run. I like that. I like that. That's a good way to say it. Mm -hmm. How tight? Just lock it. That's it. You don't want the springs to move, and then we'll double check. We're still good, still good, still good. All right, cool. That's locked, right? That's a clutch. Now let's see if we can mess with the adjustment there. Already I can see I've got the start of a clutch. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. moving. Just a slight weight. There it is, that's a clutch. No turn. So now that the clutch is pulled in, this should just, yeah. And then let go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a clutch. So, you know, how good is it? I don't know. And those friction plates look brand new, but, uh, but we'll it, have to see. It is a clutch. Um, it is a dry clutch from the 70s. Yeah. So <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah, maybe, bet maybe your money not. On it. Uh, Maybe not the best, um, but let's give it a shot. Listen, you know what? Why not, right? I'd like to get the, see about getting the carb off. I want to drop this coil off so I can get to the back of the carb, because if not, I'm snaking stuff in here, and this coil is just a big, giant um, obstacle. Yeah, kind of hanging down. Can you get into the back of that? Let's see. Okay. We need to just put this bike in a wind tunnel. <laughs> One in doubt, just put some silicone on it. That was the theory. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there. And there we go. There's our carb. Um, old Bendix, Zenith Bendix there. Mm. Well, again, we'll go through everything. We'll open it, open it up, clean it out. Uh, we'll go through that later. Make sure the accelerator pump is all there. Make sure the little diaphragm is working. Here's the carb. It looks pretty clean, but we still want to go through this and clean out all of these small little jets in there and also see if the accelerator pump even works. Yeah, make sure it's not all dry rotted. We're going to see, uh, make sure the functionality is there. Amazingly, inside our, our uh, box of parts, looks like a brand mm -hmm. new. That's brand new. Yeah. So this 
super simple. You can see the backing plate he already has on there. And we're gonna open this thing up and figure out what the hell we're gonna do with it. You know, I wanna keep it, like I said, as original I can. If this was on there and we assumed the bike was running, we're gonna use what was on there. So next video we'll do, we'll tear into this and see what we got. Sound good? Yeah. yeah.